Matt Jarbo. You might have heard about me on 4chan, where apparently they refer to me as one of the most red-pilled motherfuckers around. A man looked up to by a website dedicated to the trolling and harassment of innocent people. Matt Jarbo. A man that fetishizes and fantasizes about killing innocent people. Matt Jarbo, a man who idolizes school shooters. <laughs> Was touched by what you did. <laughs> they were inspired or challenged. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you made it to this milestone with hard work. Perseverance. <laughs> Matt Jarbo. Confirmed alt-right neo-Nazi racist. Hey kids, it's me, Polly the Polar Bear. And I'm here to tell you a random word of the day. My word today is never. Matt Jarbo. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Sex for favors, secrets, cover-ups, corruption. I've heard things that'll blow your mind, and now I think it's time you get the whole story. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Quinspiracy Theory. The video I was originally going to upload tonight is gone. I've scrapped it, it's deleted. I've decided to do something different because of this. What you're looking at is a copyright claim against a YouTube user by the name of Mundane Matt on a video called Hell Hath No Fury Like a Lover Scorned. That copyright claim was filed by Zoe Quinn. It's like a, a time capsule, isn't it? A view into the past, back when hashtag activism was the big thing. I remember that video. I remember what happened. Zoe Post goes up by an ex-boyfriend, Aaron Grangi, and Matt, like a few others, decided to do a video about it. But what do you know? Turns out Zoe Quinn was overly sensitive and couldn't handle criticism, so she abused the flagging system on YouTube to take down his video. She filed a false DMCA claim, even though the content that Matt was presenting was in the course of a news story and in no way violated the Terms of Service or the Digital Millennial Copyright Act. It was completely fair use. And you can see Matt talk about this from time to time. He'll bring up the fact that Zoe false DMCA'd him, that uh, he's sort of a big deal. He was there at the beginning, just an innocent YouTuber being abused by a bigger individual. How horrible must that feel? How fucking awful must that be to be a smaller content creator? and have a bigger asshole take your content down because they can't handle what you're telling them. Because they can't take the banter. They need to yank it off the internet. And this all started in August of 2014, but Matt's channel had been around for five years before that, 2009. And he's come a long way since then. Look at him sitting at 159,695 subscribers. He's the big guy now. No longer the little itty-bitty mundane Matt. He's a big boy Matt. And I think it's fair to say that the incident with Zoe Quinn being attacked, having his content taken down by a false flag, really helped to grow his channel. I mean, it was a big deal. He became an advocate pretty much overnight for free speech, free expression, fighting back against people that abuse the system. Just at the end of 2013, he was finally hitting that 10,000 subscriber mile mark. And through a little extrapolation, looking back at Social Blade through the archives, you can see just how much growth he actually had. What Zoe Quinn did to him, in effect, grew Matt's channel in two months what it had taken him five years to accomplish. He gained an enormous amount of subscribers, and from there it steadily grew. He was suddenly getting attention, he was suddenly getting views, people were paying attention to who Matt was. And for Zoe, at least, this completely backfired on her. It had the opposite effect of what she intended. It's funny. It seems when people do things like this, it usually has the opposite effect. The people they attack end up getting bigger, while they themselves get diminished. And once they're called out on something like this, once they try to address it or to hide it, it just gets echoed out by millions and millions of people. A Streisand effect, where it spreads everywhere. People talk about it. But these are all things from the past. A time capsule, like I said. You know, the past is a funny thing. On the internet, it's never forgotten, no matter how hard you try to get away from it. It seems that if you do something silly, eventually it comes to light. Like, take this post from Kiwi Farms, where a user happened to find a funny video from Matt that even predates Gamergate. A video that was still up on his account. They 
just stumbled upon it. Would you like to take a look? Would you like to see the funny videos that Matt used to make before he started to really adhere to that mundane title he likes to use so much? Hey kids, it's me, Polly the Polar Bear, and I'm here to tell you a random word of the day. My word today is nigger. Now you might have noticed the embed on that screen cap was broken, it wasn't displaying a video. Well, that's because the video was removed by the user. But I can assure you it very much did exist, as this archive shows, and it was up on his channel for six entire years. Just six years sitting there, never had any issues whatsoever. A comedy skit, as Matt would deem it, as most people would probably look at it. And yet, Matt mysteriously took it down. I wonder what was the impetus for that decision. What convinced him to pull it down? Surely it wasn't my tweet. I am a good boy who didn't do nothing, and just like to spread the joy of... the joy of Matt to the internet. I can't help it. I'm a Mattaholic. I'm a Mattologist. Just digging and sifting through the layers of what Matt is. But then again, 13 minutes later, the video has disappeared and this statement appears on his Twitter account. Six years ago, I made some stupid puppet videos called Pulley the Polar Bear. They were an attempt to be super edgy and ridiculous. Not the best representation of who I am. Dumb jokes have a way of coming back to bite you in the ass. My bad. Well, it seems we have our answer. I guess Matt was a little embarrassed by his past self and decided to pull his video down. He didn't want people to watch it. He didn't want people to talk about it. He was not feeling the best about having created it. I can't really begrudge him that opinion, but I'm sure most people would have probably gotten a good chuckle out of it. If only they could have watched it and enjoyed it, had a little bit of a laugh, maybe a little bit of commentary on it, and then moved on to other subjects. Oh, well, what do you know? It looks like Ethan was going to do a stream and talk about it. He was going to have people on, and they were going to talk about Monday Matt's Pulley the Polar Bear video. Let's, uh... Let's pull up some footage of that and see what happened. This video has been removed for violating YouTube's policy on hate speech. What? What's going on here? It couldn't be the Pulley the Polar Bear video, because just looking at the archive, you can see it survived on YouTube with all the algorithms and people watching it for six entire years. So if it was defined as hate speech, Matt would have been struck with a strike long before Ethan Ralph showing it on his stream would have been struck with a strike. Even stranger still, within 30 seconds of the video being shown, Ralph's stream was pulled down. Clearly, there's a mystery here. We're going to need to Scooby-Doo this to figure out how exactly Ralph received a strike so incredibly fast on a video that had been up on the internet on YouTube for six entire years. Luckily, Ralph was up for the task, and somebody was willing to let them use their channel so he could continue his stream from earlier on. And so people began to put forward what their theory was on what exactly happened with the stream. It's Monday Matt's fault. I, I just want to outright say that. There's no way. That I'm 100% certain Matt did this. Yeah, 100%. I'm not, no benefit of the doubt bullshit. Matt did this. I've seen this happen six or seven times. I've seen it happen repeatedly to people that put up videos criticizing Matt that near instant fucking taneously they get pulled down. There is no way that Matt didn't do this. And I suspect that he did it on all the other ones too. I'm certain he has Google alerts set up for his fucking username. That anywhere that it appears, he's instantly alerted to it. I've, I've known people like that. Uh, by the way, Monday and Matt, speak of the devil, has, has tweeted. And he said, I'm sorry, I did what now? I've been hanging with my kid all evening. Yeah, I, this is a story every fucking time. It's weird, right, Matt? You're never around when it gets flagged, but you show up instantly afterwards to say that you didn't do it. Hanging? So if you're so fucking busy with your kid <laughs> and doing shit in real life, how the fuck are you responding to this allegation in the first place? Shouldn't you be busy? Well, Why do you always pop up afterwards instantly to say that you didn't do it? Well, that is quite the damning allegation that Matt would flag content that makes fun of him, that he would have Google alerts set up to find people that were making fun of him, and that he would conveniently be there to have an excuse as to why he didn't do it when he alleges that he wasn't around to have done it in the first place. It's only a shame that mundane Matt himself couldn't appear on that stream to defend himself and give a clear, concise, logical retort to what those allegations are. Who put up that Kilroy video that got flagged? Oh boy, here we go. Well, game on. Let's hear Matt's explanation. There must be a reasonable explanation for how that stream got pulled down. Jim, I understand what you're saying. And I've, and I've actually publicly stated this on Twitter a couple of times. There was a time period where people were making videos like Godwinson and Dane Pesos, and those videos did come down. I did not have anything to fucking do with that shit. Somebody's going out there and flagging this crap, and I swear to God, I have no idea. I've publicly said on multiple streams, stop doing it. I've tweeted, stop doing it. And people keep doing it. And then I keep getting blamed. And somebody is doing this shit. And then I'm getting the blame for it, which sucks because there's nothing I can do. That there are people out there that don't like me. 
And so when shit comes up, they fucking act. And then it looks like I did it. And there's no way for me to, to, to claim that I didn't do it. I, if there were videos I wanted to take down, like I probably could, there's been some videos out there that I've like, all right, you know, whatever. I don't do this shit because I just don't care enough. Like if you want to fucking talk about me, talk about me. That's fine. What I think, here's what I think it is to be perfectly bluntly honest with you. I think somebody out there uh, is, is trolling. Uh, it's, it's not at my request because I legitimately would, Matt, just this would be the, okay. Now th this would be the most deep cover trolling that's ever taken place on the internet. <laughs> it's been Trust going me, on for that. a year and a half. A I get that. I get that. And I, it's, it's, been, it's been really bad this year. It's been really, ever since the Kumite stuff happened, it, ever since the Kumite shit, like I'm an easy fucking target. Because they fucking made fun of me a lot, so then shit started coming down. A year and a half off, some dedicated deep cover troll on the internet who has told no one what they're doing, has never shared any evidence of their activities, has been targeting mundane Matt for a year and a half. But rather than just straight up fucking with him, they've devised an ingenious solution. They're going to get rid of content that makes fun of him instead, so he looks bad. Now how he'd look bad for doing that when none of the content calling him out for it is available anymore is beyond me. But I'm not at that level of trolling. I'm down here, and this super troll, this deep cover undercover agent working for a year and a half, he's way up in the big league. He's a bright shining fucking star in the sky. Crane your head back and take a look. Poor mundane Matt having to continually defend himself against this slander, against this besmirchment of his character. If you look at his Twitter, it's a daily thing almost. Every month, Mundane Matt's talking about it. Denial after denial after denial. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. The poor bastard just can't catch a break. And as for that coincidental timing of him being there to give an explanation of why he didn't do it, right after the stream was flagged, well, there's a reasonable explanation for that as well. Monday Matt is really Minecraft Matt, the fucking quarry king. Because I wasn't home when I got it. I was on my way to go, like, pick rocks, literally. We found a dude in the middle of fucking nowhere who's giving away boulders. Rocks are fucking expensive. I'm just going to put out my statement, go run this errand, pick up these boulders. I, like, oh. I went down and picked up boulders today. He was just doing his normal afternoon activity of bringing his child with him while he went to collect boulders off the side of the road. You know, a typical activity that we all engage in on a weekly basis. I can't tell you how many fond memories I have of growing up with my parents and having them take me out on a boulder hunt on a Wednesday afternoon. So as you can see, Matt was collecting rocks as the deep cover year and a half long trolling op was being carried out against him. A very plausible explanation. Not, uh not ridiculous at all. But that still left the question of the other individuals, aside from Ralph, that had said they had been targeted by Mundane Matt. People that had had their accounts pulled down, had social media accounts affected, had YouTube videos yanked. How would Matt answer those allegations? So I, I'm, I want to just throw out some names. You tell me if you flag them or not. Uh, Dami Pesos. Nope. You, and not just on YouTube, but he put a YouTube video out that went down when he tweeted about it and called you a faggot. That instantly went down. You didn't do it on Twitter either. I do. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I barely. Uh, okay. I God, Godwinson. Godwinson. Nope. Uh, Kronos. No. Unknown Archive. Have you flagged him before? No, I didn't flag him. So Matt is completely innocent. He is being targeted and he has had nothing to do whatsoever with anybody on the internet getting flagged for making fun of him. As he himself puts it, what kind of person would take down a video making fun of him crying, but not pull down one that led to people calling him a pedophile? There's videos that are still up there from last year when Dave Cullen made his video response to me that people are calling me a pedo supporter or, or a pedo apologist. Those are still up there. You think if someone's making fun of me crying over getting a silver play button, I would rather have that thing go down than someone calling me basically a pedophile? Hell, he doesn't even know who half these people are. Domino's Pizza Hut is a name he claims he's never heard of. Uh, and then Dame Pesos did one, and I know that it got taken down. Again, I didn't do it. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, just to kind of back that up, because I know, because I get tagged in this all the fucking time, too. He has a show called The Soyless Matt Show. With YouTube demonetizing independent media, please consider installing fucking ad block. Mundane Matt got my YouTube and Twitter flagged, so I'm stealing his stick, and I'll do it better. <laughs> yes, I know, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, which is, okay, whatever, fine. No, wait, you tried to say you didn't see that, though. I I've seen no, I didn't say I didn't comments see that. were like, I don't know what they're talking no, about. No, I'm saying, like, I know that it exists. You know about it, you've seen it, and you've yes. watched it. 
but there's I, I don't watch it i just i just get tagged every time a new episode comes uh, up but you've seen me you, you, you i'm saying i know what it is i say, I've say you haven't it. watched some i of haven't it here i've i think don't I've lie no no you've skimmed through okay okay so maybe he is a little familiar with them but it's not like he's ever denied that wait wait a um, second ralph um somebody somebody tweeted me and said uh Monday Matt said he did not know who Dame or uh, Dame Pesos was or what the Soilus Macho was when he was on the Ralph Retort stream where Matt was defending James Gunn. How long ago was that? How was like long three, ago? Was um, few weeks ago? That was yeah, that was, like that was a couple weeks ago, and that was what I was getting at. He he said he didn't know, but he does. He just said yeah, he, he does. Yeah, he does. So were you lying then, or are you lying now? I mean, like Matt. Uh, I don't recall that particular part of the conversation. I but, don't uh, recall. Are you running for office? <laughs> that was a very <laughs> political fucking answer, man. I know. I just I don't recall uh, that particular part of the conversation. Um, Am I on with the fat faggot himself, Monday Matt? Yes. Sure. Oh, Monday Matt, I'm a big fan of the Soilless Matt show. Have you ever watched that? I'm unfamiliar with that one. He pulls more views than you at 160,000 subs, <laughs> and he just steals your I content. It's a really good know. show. You okay. should check it out. Sure. I don't know who that is. Well, that's a, a minor inconsistency. He doesn't know who this person is. Oh, wait. Yes, he does. Oh, wait. No, he's never heard of them. You need to get the facts straight. Dame Pesos is letting Matt live in his head rent free. And I'm like, but that's so weird to me that someone like him, who I don't know outside of his name, spends that much time paying attention to me. Like somehow I'm living so rent free in this dude's head that like he's dug through that very mundane fact about my Twitter. You know what I mean? Like, I, so I'm aware of him. I, I laugh mostly because it's just like. Now, why would somebody do that, Matt? What, why, why would why somebody? Do you think, why do you think they'd that? be so dedicated? Is it because they I think because he thinks I did something I, mean, I didn't fucking do, and doesn't matter what I say. He's, in, in his mind, I did it. He doesn't know why this guy does this shit. We all need to just relax, put down the pitchforks and the torches, and stop this witch hunt. Matt has given us reasonable explanations. It's not like he's some super effective deep cover troll himself i mean he's not a mastermind seriously why the fuck I would i come on here it wouldn't do me reasons. any good to come on here because if i was such a cowardly little cuck faggot like people well, are no, to say no, that I, am, I, I, I gotta stop i want to come on here people, people, people have done dumb shit on the internet though matt like <laughs> who was that who was that minecraft youtuber that was fucking kids and then he made a video freaking out and saying oh i'm fucking kids well obviously that's not the right thing to do but he still fucking did it i don't know what goes through your well, head i don't know why you see i don't know why i don't know why if I've, you flag people you'd come on a stream to talk about it maybe you're thinking this is going to turn it around i don't know uh, you I guys are trying to paint me as some kind of fucking mastermind i'm literally an idiot well no time. man if you were a mastermind we wouldn't have we wouldn't suspect you and when you line all his statements up together there's nothing strange about them at all just to sum this up okay uh all these people that make these videos on you or do streams on you that get taken down you're not doing that that's the work not, of a troll I, wait wait let me finish that's the work okay. of a troll that's deep cover for a year and a half <laughs> And tonight, you didn't flag anybody because you're collecting river rocks that are worth five hundred dollars with your kid for an afternoon activity or whatever. No, like five hundred pounds. And, they're, okay, they're heavy. This they're almost heavy sounds rocks. like Alex Jones type. Oh, right, and I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even finished. And then <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving statements tonight that conflict with statements you gave two weeks ago about knowing who a person is or watching their content or knowing what they do. Apparently, you do. You don't. You don't know. You don't recall. And your timetable's all fucked up. First it was I wasn't online till nine, but no, no, I was getting Discord messages. No, no, I was getting Twitter notifications. Like the story's all over the fucking place. I didn't get to my computer until nine. My phone was blowing up around eight forty-seven or whatever the hell it was, as I just read off. That's when I checked my phone because all of a sudden I'm sitting there and my phone starts blowing up and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I check it and then I'm like, all right. So you didn't check any messages on your phone until some random fuck on Discord says you're dead, kiddo. And I think it's Matt's innocence that makes this so truly heartbreaking that his family was targeted over these false allegations. I'd like to ask you one question about something you tweeted out because this strikes me as just, I mean, you're not a woman, you don't have a vagina, so I don't know why you tweet this. Nothing quite like being accused of something you didn't do. And then this is the part that gets me. And then the threats against your kids start to pour in. And that was like immediately after. Because that's uh, immediately what I was getting, so it's you like know, I, uh, people get threatened you know. on the internet all the time. Like, what kind oh, you of you want to threaten? You want to threaten me all the? You want to threaten me? I'm okay what, with what that. What kind of threats were you getting against your kid? Uh, one guy was saying that your kid's fucking dead, you know, and it's all like, look, I'm not gonna fuck around with that shit. That shit's fucking stupid. You want to come after me? Come after me. My kid did nothing. She's eight months old. 
She can't. She can't even fucking crawl. Matt, look. Where was that, where was that so, posted look, though? Was that it was on? It was yeah. on Discord. It was sent to me on look, Discord. I, I'm just gonna uh, say, and I'll. I'll you remember Gamergate? Like every time one of the fucking SJWs would get any amount of pushback or shit or something would come out, it immediately would go to, oh my god, people are saying I'm gonna. Brianna Wu has snipers after her. There was one day at my office, people start calling my phone, alerting me that this terrible man using an alias was threatening very, very specific violence to me. This man himself sent me a very specific, terrifying video. Look at this bullshit! He is just screaming like an absolute lunatic. It is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. We swears he's going to deliver justice to me in his own hands. You know what I mean? Like, it's just weird that you would go from uh, immediately saying, I didn't do that. I didn't flag anything. This is bullshit. And then, oh, my God, my kids are getting threatened. It just it, it, it feels like you're using their playbook with that kind of shit. No, that wasn't my intent, but I can see what you mean. This poor, sweet man always being bullied by people on the Internet. I remember when the YouTube shooting happened, people made Sam Hyde jokes about him. And Matt was forced into the situation of asking for Twitter verification to fight back against it. No ulterior motive there. You know, it's strange, but I really have no clue where people get the idea that Matt likes to play the victim for his own benefit. That he takes advantage of situations or makes them up entirely, simply to get something that he wants. Oh hey look, it's Keemstar. Shut the fuck up. No one here fucking likes Who? you at all. You're here just trying to be friends with everyone. No, I'm talking. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. Wait, wait, wait a minute, this is, this is... You Who is fucking this? loser. Who is just this? like when you fucking told Who, the this? police that I swat at you, you Who fucking sad Who is this? basement. This is oh my god, is that Keemstar? Oh my god, Keemstar. Yeah. Look at you freak oh my god. out. Look at you freak out. Oh, you wow. How are you, are you buddy? Shit. Have you started paying your employees yet? Oh man. Uh, and I of never course told I pay my employees. I never told the fucking How many employees do you pay? Fucking idiot. Because you can't afford any because your channel's fucking dying. Oh, you're so cute. Everybody that fucking calls You're you cute. on your shit, you You're have some funny. fucking revenge thing where you have to try to take revenge. down people's shit. I don't try to take down anybody because I don't give a it. shit. You fucking struck me, lying piece of shit. Right. Keemstar sent me a message uh, since he came on. He said, what the fuck else is he going to fucking make? Up? Ask Jesus him Christ. why he told the cops I swatted oh, him. Oh, my fucking God. I've already explained this shit, you dense, bearded gnome motherfucker. Right after the cops came to my fucking door, put a shotgun in my fucking face. I was nervous. I was scared. You can listen to the goddamn audio. I was literally shaking. I couldn't fucking move because I thought I was going to die. My poor baby boy was swatted. Who would ever go after the Quarry King? What madman would do that? Don't they know he has boulders all over his property? If he built a trebuchet or a catapult, he could take out an army. Well, look at that. There's actually news stories about this. Monday, Matt was indeed swatted. I wonder what the, the coverage is like. I wonder what exactly happened. A Beaverton man says that he just opened his door and then right there were officers in full SWAT gear pointing guns in his directions. Hi, everyone. My name is Mundane Matt. Um, and I was just swatted. Explosive device. Crap. Crap to a child's head and some razor blades. It's chilling radio traffic. Children in the head. Switching this man's normal day to terrifying in an instant. It's really like hoping no one shot me. I fell down on my knees. I was like hands up. I was quivering. Um, I'm not a badass, <laughs> despite what you may think. Um, <laughs> well, that's terrible. But why is Keemstar so angry about this? They've had many back and forth conversations. They've gone at each other on Twitter and on YouTube over it time and time again. Two years ago, me and you got into a disagreement on Twitter. We had some Twitter beef. We had some words exchanging back and forth. You ended up getting swatted and you thought to yourself, oh, I can really get back at Keemstar. I'll just tell the police that he swatted me. And the fucking FBI was at my door questioning me about it. I wonder what Matt has to say about that. Because whoever the fuck did this, I don't know who. I have no idea who. Well, he clearly has no idea who did this. You know, whoever did this, and I have a feeling I know who's fucking behind it. Oh, did I say no idea? No, I meant he does know. 
The gap, by the way, between those two clips is less than a minute. It's less than a minute from him saying, I have no idea to I know who did it. Even stranger still, though, is this statement. A few months ago, in preparedness for this particular situation, I had contacted the local police department, gave them my name, my information, told them what I do, and said just be on the lookout in case it pops up. Now, Keemstar and Matt had had an argument on Twitter the day before this, yet Matt states that he went to the police months ago with an idea of who might be trying to do this to him. So why would he even bring Keemstar up if he'd already put the precautions in place to protect himself by alerting the police that he might be swatted? It meant he thought there was a credible threat, so he must have some idea of where it's coming from. But then to give them Keemstar's name, somebody he just that moment had an argument with, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Dude, yeah, go awesome. in the corner right now and cry. You deserve a good cry. You oh, deserve it. You earned a good September. cry. <laughs> well, there is no love loss between the two, and their arguments back and forth probably won't end anytime soon, but Keem seems convinced that Mundane Matt is a, a disingenuous liar, that he is a, a slimy individual that works his situation or plays the victim for his own benefit. But maybe Matt's right. Maybe this is the work of that nefarious deep cover year and a half long troll op that he's been a victim of. After all, they're out there just doing it for the lulls, if you will. And that was pretty much the end of the stream. I mean, how can you prove a negative? How can you prove that Matt didn't do this? It's impossible. With such staggering logical blockades left in our way, we really couldn't do anything about it. I mean, Matt said he didn't do it. How do we prove otherwise? And so the conversation ended here. Oh wait, it actually didn't end here. For an entire hour, Mundane Matt sat in a call full of people, James Elsep, myself, the Ralph Retort, Zidane, Gator, and Keemstar, and told us all repeatedly that he didn't know who these people were, that he never flagged anybody, he doesn't report people, he's not like that, why would he take down videos making fun of him crying, but not ones that get him called a pedophile? He told us he was out with his children collecting boulders and river rocks. He made up all sorts of convenient excuses to explain away what had happened that evening. And he almost got away with it. Yeah, before we, we, we delve into that, I had something to say to Mundane Matt. One, earlier you asked, why would you come on? And uh, the reason is you've been deflecting and, um, you know, spinning everything so far. And two... I've been telling the yeah, truth no, the entire no, time, no, so... I don't think it's the truth. But the I second know. thing is there is a way you can show your reporting history on YouTube. I'll link it in the chat. So if you didn't do it, they should have nothing in it, correct? Oh, the plot thickens. Uh huh. No, hold on. I'm looking. I'm reading the article you sent. Yeah, I, I know what he's talking about. At least I think I know what he's talking about. There, there are ways you can show that. Got really quiet. It no, got I'm, super I'm, quiet. I'm reading. I'm reading. It's, it's literally like seven sentences, buddy. Hold on. No, well, no, because it linked me to something else. It's a direct link. Well, there's it's not there's no yes. link directly there to uh, to click on your actual reporting history. I posted it in the chat. It's youtube.com slash report history. Oof. Do you hear that stunning silence? You can almost picture the soy dripping down his chin. There's Matt, all sweaty and red-faced, freaking the fuck out because somebody found a way, Zidane found a way, to expose his bullshit with Google's report history. So, yeah, Matt, you can just click on that direct link there and it will show what your history is. Okay, um, let me take a look at this here. Give me a second. No, you're taking way too long, Matt. You're guilty as fuck. Take a screenshot. <laughs> we want to see what you report it, all right? Stop fucking around. It's been like fucking eight Jesus minutes. Jesus Christ, Take dude. a screenshot and show him. No, I'm sick of you lying. You're such a fucking snake, and everybody can see through it. You're a fucking dirty little snake that fucking narks on people and reports people to the cops, and then you come into this fucking call like a Walmart reader. Shut the fuck dude. up. Take the screenshot and show everyone now. No, I swear, guys, I'm totally innocent. Even though I've already been given the opportunity to now show that I'm innocent, I'm conveniently taking an exorbitant amount of time to do so. This doesn't look good. Actually, Matt, just screen share it to us. Just pull it up yeah. and screen share it. Yeah, you can do that, of course. In fact, do that Are instead, you trying to delete instead, it right instead now? of screenshot. No, because I've... Come on, open a new tab. It's fine. Uh, I've, nope. you know, 
No. Screen share. So far, every, <laughs> window. Everybody else in this call it's has done easy. it in the time it took you to basically read it and find it. And people in the Discord have done it for their channels too already. No, I and the screenshot's not going to prove it because the screenshot is easily photoshopped. Screen sure. share. Screen share it just that window. I've, yeah, Helsop's got a point. It got to the point where people were screen sharing their own report history to show them how easy and quickly it could be done. Everyone in the call and those watching the stream were able to pull up their own report histories within a few seconds, and people began posting screenshots. And the entire time this is happening, Matt still has not produced his own report history. <laughs> Look, guys, guys, can we call it at this point? There's still no screenshot. Can we call it? The guy fucking flagged me. <laughs> no, Keem, like, Keem, Keem, we're making him, we're, we're telling him to do a screen share so we can't Photoshop it. Yeah, but it still isn't happening. And he, yeah. is yeah. there a way to retract it? Can't you just retract yes, you can. it? You can. I think so. Yeah. So yes, he can, can just retract everything right now and get out of it. So yep. it doesn't matter either it's way. Taking too, it's, taking this, too long. it's taking too long. And I just want it to be on record that he is doing this shit. That well, he is I'm flagging not... people. Yes, you are. We would have had a screenshot. We would have a screen share by now. Like on record, guilty, 100%, case closed. 10 <laughs> oh, years. Man. 10 years to irrelevancy. Maybe in 10 <laughs> years, maybe you could try again. You're done on YouTube. Bye. The original stream was roughly about two and a half hours long, and this portion of it was over the span of about 30 minutes. For nearly 10 to 15 minutes, Matt would not produce anything. He wouldn't give a screenshot. He wouldn't give a screen share. Everyone else did, and people were beginning to get a little bit restless. Here was Mr. I have a convenient excuse for everything, unwilling to do what every other fucking person did. It almost makes him look guilty. Okay, okay, listen. I did not do what I'm being accused of doing here. But, but you did you something else here. And, but, wait, wait, but you did something else you don't want to get caught. Yes, okay, hold on. Let me let me preface this by saying, because this is going to bite me in the ass for a long fucking time. Matt, just show the screen. Uh, I will, so you I reported will you, other will people. You, no, we want a screen share. I will send you uh, uh, an image. Rather. No, we want a screen share. No, because okay. this is... I'll send you an image because look. No, this is just okay. <laughs> no, no, wait, no. I want to hear this. All right, okay. Hear this. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go, go ahead. ahead. Now go okay, ahead. Okay, let me go preface ahead. this by saying Go ahead. that I can get angry. Uh oh. Matt got a little bit angry. I wonder what that could mean. What could he have possibly done? I'm innocent, guys. I haven't done what I'm accused of, but but I might have done something else. I wonder what that something else is. Let's stay on topic here, boys. Yeah, let's I stay focused. Have I'm really interested. <laughs> I think I'm just like Elsa. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, my 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 inner merchant. This is a really out. long. Monday night we were painting the fucking Mona Lisa. <laughs> so. Like a second to share mine. All right, here here we go. Oh, Screen share is live. Let's see it. All right, hold on. My pants are off. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Matt, fine. what there are you doing? Head. How's it taking so long? Look at all those tabs. I have a lot of tabs open, but I have... Thanks for reporting. But nothing, but nothing on... Man, wait a minute. Nothing on that. That's just... What the fuck? So... I have been in a not the best place mentally. And... Now, wait a minute, oh, Matt! Oh, okay. No! <laughs> Matt, no! <laughs> so, yeah, that's... that's. To our face. He lied straight to our fucking face. For an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Dame Pesos is. I've never heard of him. I don't flag people. I can take the banter. I can take a joke. All those tweets for years telling people, don't flag in my name. That's uncool. Trolls are out there doing it. I'm an innocent boy that never did this shit. And look at that report history. And remember, that report history was only shown to people after he delayed for 15 minutes. Nobody knows what he was doing in that time. Did he use Inspect Element to hide things? Did he try to reverse strikes to make it look even worse than it is? Oh no, Dame Pesos, I've never heard of him. Strike, 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 strike every fucking video. Every single video. Do you remember what he said earlier? There's videos that are still up there from last year when Dave Cullen made his video response to me that people are calling me a pedo supporter or, or a pedo apologist. Those are still up there. You think if someone's making fun of me crying over getting a silver play button, I would rather have that thing go down than someone calling me basically a pedophile? Wrap your head around that. So when Matt told me near the beginning of the stream that he wasn't a mastermind, no fucking shit, he's not a mastermind. Case closed. If somebody <laughs> cries about Matt Mundane or whatever the fuck your name is, you flag them. Case closed. 
there was nah. more there. You didn't scroll. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I think I've made a lot of mistakes, and I do owe uh, people an apology. Uh, you for literally me. lied here. So, well, no, I. Yes, you did. Don't yeah, you me. did. You did. You lied. You lied. You lied. I fucking said face. about What's Game that? Pesos. That person has gotten under my skin. Nah, Here's you like, make videos criticizing people. That's what you do. You make videos talking shit about people and talking about other people. But if someone talks about you, you try to censor them. No, I, And how I, many videos have you made on censorship, you dumb I, son of a bitch? I have made a joke. I You're a fucking made joke. I have made errors. That's absolutely true. Made errors? Grow the fuck up, I, dude. I will. I, I, honest to God. Me and I, you get in a Twitter fight and you tell the cops I swat at you. I didn't it say you swatted right me. That. That, it no, goes no, right dude, back to that, you son of a bitch. You're you're a fucking I, baby. I never, I never actually did that. But. You can't defend yourself with your own fucking words, right? So you have to sneak around and try to get videos taken down. Like, it's so fucking disgusting. ask you two questions because i want to get them out quick because this is everybody's jumping in and out and yeah. i think it's important you lied to us multiple times you told us you never flagged anybody you did you told us you didn't flag uh you, you were aware of you actually came in here and used as a defense what about the soilless match show how come that I, hasn't been that, flagged? no wait let me finish okay. how come that hasn't been flagged you fucking flagged it that well what I mean is, yeah, look, I've made I've made errors on that one. That is that's 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 me. And, and then you tell Keemstar, I didn't tell the cops this. Well, why should we fucking believe you? You hey, lied to our you face for no, an hour. You, you, you lied no to reason, our face you, for you, an hour. You you have no reason to believe me on this one. This is uh, clearly my error, my mistake. And um, I have I have made errors. I am definitely definitely apologize. I have to I have to go get collect boulders. What the no, fuck? And right on cue, like any good cliche. At this point in the narrative is when Matt breaks into his sob story of why he had to do this. You know, I know it's going to sound like an excuse, but there's like the apocalypse. I bought a house. I was having a kid. I just didn't. Uh, I, I was getting angry at shit in my everyday life. Matt, you, you said you were in a bad headspace, but the videos that were getting flagged and shit, the last, the most recent one you flagged was two weeks ago. It was his brand new video. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in a bad place for a while. Um, I have... Uh, uh, remember, it's been it's been it's been a long time. It's been a very 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 long time. Uh, last summer, I was uh, I was I was contemplating suicide quite often. It hasn't gotten much better. I've tried. Uh, I've allowed myself to get angry. I've allowed myself to do things that uh, I should never do. I'm in a bad headspace. I'm I'm feeling slightly suicidal. The adpocalypse, Jim. Uh, I bought a house, Jim. I'm having a kid, Jim. That's why I have to flag videos on YouTube. I'd like to remind you that Mundane Matt is a man who wrote a fucking book on how to handle the internet. He sells a book on Amazon. Well, sell is being generous. He gives it away for zero dollars, and there's still no takers. <laughs> he gives away a book for zero dollars on Amazon about how to deal with the internet. And here he is, completely broken by the internet. Unable to handle banter, unable to handle jokes, unable to handle an opinion that runs contrary to his or criticism of his own opinions. But it goes even deeper because a few people had caught on earlier in the stream when he first screen shared with everybody that it was more than just Dame Pesos. The list he showed didn't scroll down. Okay, you guys see it? I yeah. see a lot of Dame Pesos. So, so videos. A lot of Dame Pesos. It's, it's the last Andy six Andy Worski? I see a Worski It's the video. shit, the shit Worski. about me when oh, the Oh, you the flagged the Kumite started. too. A couple times. That I got, the fuck? Yeah, it was a lot of, it was, a, like I said, a lot of shit's gotten under my skin and I've acted very inappropriately. And that is, it's Talk all within the last few months. And yeah, and I owe people uh, uh, an apology. So, but if you notice, everything is active. Nothing's been taken down. Except for that uh, one information. I see about failure. Video. I don't know, I see I don't know which one. Saw... Was, uh, yeah. You know what? Scroll back up. Uh, you know, uh, just that's to it. Make... It's, it's the okay. ones in the, it's in the last few months. I've just been. In a very Wait, bad place. But, but let me ask you. Know, there's one by Swedish mate no, that look, was an archive video. Looks yeah, like. Swedish mate is an archive channel. Look at the amount of people that he's gone after. Anybody so much as looking at him funny, he will flag your channel down. Tonka saw, failure in the morning, Andy Worski, Dame Pesos, name after name after name. He doesn't give a shit. If you say something bad about him, he's gonna come after you. Oh, I can't handle. I can't handle the banter. It gets under my skin, so that gives me an excuse to act like this. 
after spending the last five years building up a media profile, building up a YouTube channel where I call out those dirty SJWs. Oh, they're a bunch of whiners. Anita Sarkeesian, Brianna Wu, Zoe Quinn, they're the problem. They can't handle criticism. They attack people that criticize them. But not me. Not Mundane Matt. I'm based. I'm way better than them. I would never do something like that. So, so Matt, when you were telling us earlier that it made it, it like amused you to fuck with Fakumite and not go on when they offered that's, you that's, when, that's, when, that's, when, that's when you lie. said it, that's a lie. That's a lie. It so got me got, really angry. They got they got under my skin every single day because it was nonstop, man. And that list that he showed us, it could very well have been altered because other people suspect that he's been targeting them. Uh, so uh, two nights ago, uh, let me just show you something. My channel, which is squeaky clean, uh, received one of these on a, a Star Wars video. People like comic artist Pro Secrets. Put up a video just a day or two after this talking about a, a bizarre coincidence that happened with matt once again matt inserted himself into a community got into a fight with the people involved in it and released a video that was basically a hit piece full of misinformation when he goes on stream with ethan and the others they tell him basically to fuck off what do you think matt's reaction to that was Oh, potentially flagging, because mysteriously after that stream happens, his content starts getting flagged. Needs to get age restricted. That sounds like a familiar story to me, Matt. That sounds like something I've heard before. Oh, you're so very sorry, are you? Oh, you're so terribly sorry about what you do. Now, the interesting point with this particular video is it fits Matt's MO of if somebody makes fun of him, he will flag their video. The other interesting bit of information from this is if Matt really did flag this, it didn't show up on the list, which means he's either using another account, he edited what we saw, or he's having somebody else help him do it. Then again, it's very hard to imagine Matt actually having any fucking friends that are going to help him do something like that. And I'm fairly certain he's not a member of any groups. It's not like he's ever been a part of a shadowy organization that harasses and stalks people on the internet. Can I ask you an uncomfortable question? You want to add? Sure. Okay, awesome. Are you familiar with Harmful Opinions? Ah, oh, fuck me. Like, mm -hmm. this guy, Harmful Opinions um, YouTube channel vanished. What the hell happened with that, man? That was a I great... Don't know. I don't know exactly how it happened, but apparently my security wasn't good enough. I do download all sorts of fucked up games to show off to people and, and laugh at. So maybe there was something there. Uh, I, d I don't know what happened, but someone got in, screwed with all my stuff. I've gotten most of my accounts back. YouTube was useless getting my channel back. So oh. I'm starting from scratch again, basically. Well, I, I saw that happen, and it was right at the tail end of you taking on a company called Candid. Oh, yeah. So That's, I was I mean, very suspicious this... about it. Well, that does seem a bit problematic, doesn't it, Matt? Well, you see, Matt and the other skeptics were part of an advertising campaign by an app, a group of people that had developed a anonymous and safe chatting method where you could get rid of those evil, mean bully jerks on the Internet and just have a good old time. Family, friendly, fun. Who doesn't love that? Who doesn't want that experience? And so a multitude of people began to advertise for it. Candid videos were showing up all over YouTube. And one particular individual, Harmful Opinions, had a bit of an issue with it. Looking into it, he found a few questionable features about the entire program. Yeah, Cancer would be a much better name for it. Cancer. So I saw fucking everyone doing ads for this thing, taking sponsorship from it, promoting it. And I decided, okay, what's up with this? Five seconds looking, and it's got one of these bots that everyone hates. The shit that Twitter's got now that everyone hates. And the kind of people I'd expect to take the piss out of this app that tells everyone, oh, this is a lovely place where trolls and bullies aren't allowed. We're advertising it and not making fun of it. And, and that concerned me. And not just the program itself, but the advertisers, his fellow YouTubers, the skeptic community that seemingly was a large part of this marketing push and matt well matt was a part of that let's talk about free speech and the candid app notice how there's no disclosure up top in fact it's after the break at the very far bottom now that was changed eventually and when i say eventually i mean fairly quickly because people in his comment section were going apeshit they didn't like a deceptive viral marketing campaign aimed at them as if it were a normal video but if you were to criticize matt on how he handled that he would respond by saying that was a false allegation, that he followed the FTC guidelines and he disclosed it, and that he didn't do anything wrong. Well, that is unless you ask Monday Matt himself. Like when he bitched about Tim Schafer in Psychonauts 2, not disclosing information in a clear and concise manner, or chastised a story about Disney for not having disclosure high enough up on the page. Well, that strikes me as a bit hypocritical, but Matt's not a hypocrite. 
he has standards and morals which he deeply adheres to. And when it comes to advertisers, well, he has a firm stance. All I care about is ethics and donating. I wouldn't accept money from someone if they told me what to say, unless that someone apparently was fucking candid. The people sponsored by Candid, thanks to Baring, who was also sponsored, telling me about this, are given a list of talking points that suggests they mention it. Because they very much did tell him what to say. They told everybody what to say when they gave them the talking points sheet and said, you need to cover this if you want to get paid. Now, Harmful liked to poke at the skeptics. He liked to try to get a reaction out of them because he was dealing with a lot. He was dealing with a company that was seemingly trying to do whatever they could do to fuck with him. I want you to really take a minute to think about how you'd react in that situation. You have a well-funded corporation that is hiring people to do hit pieces on you. And that's been confirmed by somebody that worked with them. I've shown you the CEO of Candid denying something in a suspicious way before. You said someone from our side approached someone to make a counter video. We have never approached anyone to make a counter video. I'm asking you, where did you get that information from? We have never asked anyone to attack you or counter you. That is a lie. While Baring, who was also sponsored by Candid, was helping me, he got in contact with Candid's marketer and talked about the shitstorm that followed my videos going up. Candid's marketer at the time responded and said, we're actually aware of it and we're having some influencers do a counter video. Would you be open to doing that as well? They're out to get you because you dared to criticize the app and the people that are marketing it. These people are part of a community that are skeptical. They're free speech advocates. They don't lay down. They don't take it up the ass. They're there to defend you. Unless you're putting a $10,000 check in their pocket. And then fuck you. Am I right, Harmful? And, and this fucking company retaliates. It gets other YouTubers to, uh, you know, try to discredit me or mock me in, in retaliation videos that someone, a, a, a nice dude who worked with them, leaked to me that he was asked to do one too. Uh, turns out they asked some guy who luckily I was friends with to basically track me and what I'm doing and offered him a reward. The CEO talks to my mother and says, oh, we've received all these anonymous tips and stuff. About I your saw account. that, man. So if, so if it's a simple explanation to anybody new to this is Candid was an app that it looks like to me was just financed by a bunch of like Silicon Valley shitheads. So when Harmful would release a video talking about Candid or poking at Matt on social media, Matt would then, in kind, respond and tell him he was basically crazy. Now let's take a little break before we get back to the more serious stuff. I ran an experiment on Monday Matt. I decided to provoke the shit out of him to see what would happen. I think it started here. Matt tweeted, I find harmful opinions, though, video on Candid to be interesting, but I take umbrage with his trade trust for cash line. As a side note, that's just how I describe sponsored content and native advertising. Taking cash in return for saying something's good to people who trust you. That's why you get comments like this on sponsored videos, right? Anyway, Matt said what he said, and I responded like this. He didn't like it very much. I suspect this is why he made a video about me. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mundane Matt, and I want to ask you all if you've ever heard of the story Chicken Little. It's an old tale about a chicken that runs around screaming, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and getting everybody worked up in a tizzy only to point and laugh later on because he's just fucking with them. All right, that is in essence what I saw today when I got hit with a whole bunch of messages to go check out Harmful Opinion's newest video about Candid. Of course, Matt didn't tell me that, not when I talked to him about it. Of course, I had to do it delicately. Because this great free speech app that everybody was just out there promoting had some very Orwellian contracts you had to sign that basically said you couldn't talk about them, about the company, about the application, or anything related to it for years. Let's say there's a company called Discreet.com. They're not very <laughs> candid about things. And so Discreet.com is run by ex-Google people. And they come out with this this you know, this, this program, and they, you know, there's some rumors circulating that they want to use an AI to kind of parse through what they consider acceptable or unacceptable content. And then it turns out that Google itself, the main company, after discrete.com just stops doing what discrete.com does for whatever reason, uh, Google comes out and says, hey, yeah, we've been taking down a shit ton of videos, like they you know recently have said, and 75% of it was done with this new AI we're using. 
that would seem kind of coincidental, wouldn't it, that an ex-Google employee would go make a new company, have all these people with radical opinions show up on their platform, maybe train an AI, shut down the company, and then go bring that AI back and sell it off to a company like, say, you know, Google, the people they used to work for. Would you say that Discrete.com may have done something like that? I would say that that's uh, not out of the realm of possibility. Mm -hmm. And also, I do believe that, if, if I recall correctly... That was also, I think, part of the original business plan? Part of the original business plan? Does nobody else find it a little bit ironic when you think about the fact that these people basically destroyed themselves? How many videos did we watch about the adpocalypse? How about censorship on platforms like Twitter or YouTube? And here are these skeptic YouTubers working with a company whose business plan is to censor and fuck them over. And not just them, everybody else. All the people that have their videos pulled, that have their monetization pulled, more than likely had it done because this app was developed and then used by Google to sort through what is appropriate or what isn't appropriate. Matt and those that went along with this are the definition of 30 pieces of silver. But we can't speak out. We have those contracts in place. Wouldn't want to step out of line. We need to present a united front. Well, at least publicly. In private, we could say whatever we want. And I mean, but June is like super fucking skinny and tiny and shit. And Greg, you think would be the kind of person who would cry the first time we saw a vagina. I wonder, can somebody ask, can somebody go ask him and just say, Monday Matt wants to know if you wept when you saw a vagina. Were you brought to tears by the pussy? He's working on a hot breaking new trending video and he needs that answer ASAP. All of these side stories help to highlight character traits within Mundane Matt. If we want to talk about what kind of song Matt would be, it would be the saddest song in the world. It's a man that will sell you out, that will work with a corporation that hunts you down, that will flag your videos off if you look at him funny, that will get the police involved if he has a dispute with you on the internet, that applies rules to everybody else but not to himself. Maybe Matt's a classic example of what happens when somebody is willing to do anything to succeed, and when those plans don't come to fruition, how they take their anger out on those around them. I don't know, I'm not a psychologist, I can't wrap this up in a nice little bow for you, but I want you to understand that when it comes to mundane Matt, and people's problems with mundane Matt, it runs far deeper than just flagging. He's been doing some shady shit for a long time now, and he keeps being able to kind of shirk it off and walk away from it without ever really addressing it. And so perhaps it's time that just fucking stopped. And he wasn't allowed to get away with it one more time. When we came into the stream, I said, uh, and I told you this, Matt, when you came on, you're flagging people. It's too much of a coincidence. No, Jim, I didn't do that. Yeah, you did. You know me, Jim. I wouldn't do that. Obviously, you just showed us that you fucking did that. I've never heard of these people. I don't recall. Obviously, you did. It's like lie after lie after lie. Oh, they bother me. They piss me off. They get me upset. When I'm in a bad headspace, I go after people. Apparently, Keemstar got you in a bad headspace. I don't doubt for a minute that you told the FBI. I don't know about if you swatted yourself or not. I can't comment on that. No, I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Again, my, my bullshit I, alarm's I going up know, way too much. I know. Of I know. And I just I, like to say, I'm right. So I, I, oh, I, everything I said when I came in here, I'm fucking right. You did flag those people. You do have Google alerts on your name to find out if anybody's talking shit about you. Obviously, you're tuned into it, telling us, oh, I don't know about these features and shit. I don't, I, I don't, I don't buy it, man. I, I wouldn't doubt if you had a fucking alt account or another account and you you somehow or you talk to somebody at YouTube that you know and you fucking nailed Ralph. It's, no, it's too no, much of a no. fucking well, Why would I believe you now? Mundane <laughs> Matt is a fat, soy-soaked, penisless abomination who cries <laughs> over YouTube form letters. It happened. Monday Matt is false flagging videos again. After admitting he false flagged nine of my fucking videos, only after getting caught, by the way, and giving a phony fake apology no one believed, he false flagged me again. The latest episode of my Monday Matt parody show, The Soyless Matt Show, was taken down from YouTube. I knew he was never gonna stop flagging videos but unless one video was taken down we would never know right so i put a very questionable looking clip from this tv show that has been on the official youtube account of that show without issues for the last five years with half a million views in the clip it looks like someone is taking a shit on someone else's face but it wasn't shit you mongoloid it was fucking chocolate
All right, this is uh, probably gonna be one of my favorite humiliations ever. I've always wanted to do this. It's a very easy humiliation, though it will look shocking to some fucking old lady who's changing the channels and sees it. <laughs> You're the old lady, man, they mad, you fucking fucking. <laughs> This is not real feces, I want to be perfectly clear. This is gonna end up on the internet like it's real, it's not real. Monday Matt falls flat, all of my videos, so I'm stealing his stick, and I'm gonna do it better. No soy, no fat, no filler. The Soy the Smart Show will last us forever! He has a show called The Soyless Matt Show. <laughs> yes, I know, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, which is, okay, whatever. You thought you had me, but all you have is a human. My social security number is I just checking it out and yeah it turns out it was a body of a girl and you know we, we, we pulled the body out the best we could. Hi guys this is Rodney um welcome to Rodney's world this is my very first um video log or vlog as they call it I mean like I've never thought about doing one before but basically like I have a therapist and uh, her name is Sharon and she's awesome and uh, she told me that the best way to get over my anxiety about moving from a new state, I mean an old state to a new state, is to like talk about what's bothering me and what's really like, you know, important with what's going on in my life. And so I thought I would create this video blog and put it out there and try to meet a lot of people. Cause you know, like I'm actually like a pretty cool guy. You know, I mean like, I may not look like a cool guy. I'm actually a really, really down to earth nice guy. You know, and I just like, I just want to know people really. So um, let me tell you a bit about myself. Okay, so I, um, my name is Rodney. Like I said, um, I'm Rodney Whitaker. Okay, I am from right outside of Seattle in a small little town called Snoqualmie. You might have heard of it. There's a couple falls there. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so now I'm living in Southern California, in um, San Diego to be exact. And I moved here like probably like two months ago. And I'm just I'm having a lot of trouble adjusting to the entire situation of, of living here. So um, I have a therapist and she, you know, Sharon, she was just like, you know, you need to like put your feelings out there. You need to like, you need to like let people know who you are. So I thought I would take up this hobby and tell you guys about my life. Um, I really don't have like any friends. So if you think I'm cool, and I don't mean like really cool, but like maybe like moderately cool, you may want to message me, you know, like become my friend, see what's up. Um, and then of course, like, you know, like um, a couple times a week, I'll, I'll update, you know, with more Rodney's World um, episodes. You guys can know like what's going on, you know, what I'm up to. Um, I, I do play a lot of Xbox, so that might be a little bit. Um, and, and, you know, yeah, so like if you just want to get to know me, like really, um, just hit me up and uh, say hi.